Hello everyone, it's Sam. Uh, I want to talk to you today about one of the possibly greatest opportunities in cryptocurrency right now. And it's really interesting because uh, I've been doing some research. Now I realize this is going to look a little bit different, uh, kind of a wonky setup right now because I actually want to stand the, the market's weird today. Uh, investments are weird today. Might as well stand up, get some energy out. But uh, the camera is going to be a little bit worse too, because I'm using my computer camera, but there's a huge opportunity in the market right now. And I think some people are letting it pass them by. So take a look at Dogecoin. Now be, keep with me here for a second. Uh, so Dogecoin, obviously insane volatility right now. now. Let me reload the page here. I have been watching it very closely. I did the video yesterday talking about whether it could get up to a dollar, uh, talking about Dogecoin in general, talk about some of the catalysts for it right now. Look at the volume on this, $65 billion. It's gone up 153% uh, over the last 24 hours. And the market cap is $46 billion. If it was double this, it would be, or a little bit over double this, it would be one of the 100 largest companies uh, out there. So really interesting to see such a meme stock or meme meme cryptocurrency being valued so high. Now, something that's really interesting, this is not what I think is the greatest potential in cryptocurrency right now. I think the risk reward is really uh, high risk right now on Dogecoin, obviously. But where do you buy Dogecoin? Coinbase? No. BlockFi? No. There aren't a lot of brokers that allow you to buy it or sell it, or anything like that. So, let's see where you can buy it. Robinhood, Voyager, Chan, Chan Jelly. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, you can buy it on those couple different brokers, on those couple different platforms. I have money in Voyager, and what I did today was I actually bought, I bought Dogecoin, I bought a little bit, I bought, I bought nine other cryptocurrencies too, and I wanna tell you about it because it's getting me more bullish on Voyager for several different reasons. So first of all, it was really easy. I downloaded the app. I think it's still only US that you can get it. Uh, you can't get it online either. You can't go onto a, a website. You have to download the app. I made my account in a few minutes. I deposited money in a few minutes and it allowed me to trade right away. Now I have 10 different cryptocurrencies on here. I bought $50 of each, not a lot. I'm not using this as like a get rich quick type thing. I want to invest in the top 10 cryptocurrencies. Some of them are really, I mean, all of them are risky, but uh, these give interest rates. And Voyager is interesting in that they have so many more cryptocurrencies than a lot of different brokers. Now, the reason I say this is interesting is because I think Voyager is a really interesting risk reward right now. So like I said, you can earn interest. You have to use the app. Uh, it's only available in some areas. But take a look. They had a, a significant amount of revenue the last couple months. So in January, I believe they had about 8.6 million in revenue. February, about 20 million. March, they haven't given us the revenue yet. But if we base it on last, if we base it on February's principal value traded, we can estimate about 32 million or so, maybe 33 million in revenue. Now, of course that could be off, but we're talking about a first quarter then that is right around $60 million and it's increasing. Now, the really interesting thing is if you start projecting this out a little bit. So people are interested in Dogecoin. Coinbase was, uh, Coinbase was IPOing or DPOing this week. A lot of attention brought to it. So a lot of people are looking at cryptocurrency now. They've never looked at it. They want to buy Dogecoin. They want to buy Link. They want to buy Polkadot. They want to buy all these altcoins too, in addition to other coins, which most of my money is at BlockFi. They don't allow you to invest in a lot of these, but they do pay an interest rate. And it's less, it's more established than something like Voyager, which is the risk reward there. They aren't public right now. BlockFi isn't. So you can't invest in them. Uh, I have my money on their platform, though I feel very comfortable about it, but I want to try Voyager out. So put money there, really easy process. Uh, makes me feel strongly about the user interface. Now, looking at their numbers, though, 
60 million dollars. I think this is going to go up dramatically this month. The reason I say that, again, Dogecoin is one of the only platforms that allows it. I'm sure a lot of it's on Robinhood. So I'm sure a lot of the volume here is on Robinhood. Uh, when you think about people that would invest in this too, you think about Robinhood traders. But if you want to get an interest rate on it, if you want to trade it on more of a pure play platform, you go over to Voyager. So you use them. I think their revenue is going to be higher this month. I think it's going to continue to increase. And if we look at their last quarter here, they had a net and comprehensive loss of about $9 million on revenues that were just $3.5 million. This is last quarter. So last year, this time, they had revenue of $88,000. Now, it, over the last quarter, Q4 of 2020, they had three and a half million dollars worth of revenue, which is a tenth what they had this month. And they have net losses mostly from mostly from these here. So they had total net losses of about nine million. So not great. However, not horrible either. I mean, they're losing money, but I think they're gonna become more profitable when you start thinking about how profitable this business is consider it versus coinbase right coinbase is bringing in a significant amount of money but they have a significant amount of net income that they're getting i mean they have very high margins voyager i think will be similar right now on their app i paid about one percent in fees just to invest in these i think there will be a race to the bottom and that's where the risk comes right with these platforms that's where people are cautious about investing in these, but these are paying an interest rate already. They are gaining users very quickly. So that's where the risk reward comes in, where Coinbase is less risky, also probably a little bit less upside uh, over the long term. If Voyager can really expand quickly, there's a lot of there's a lot of potential here. Now, of course, I would diversify just like always. I would make sure that you're diversified. That's really key right now because there's a sell-off in companies like Voyager. Voyager has had a sell-off too. And they've been selling off a good amount. But take a look. They have 58 coins, 20 interest-bearing coins. No one else compares in that way. So I think they will continue to gain users. I think they'll continue to increase revenue pretty drastically especially over this year, because I don't imagine Fidelity introducing coins this year. I can't, I can't imagine it. Uh, I can't imagine Schwab or some of these other uh, companies. I can't ever imagine uh, Vanguard offering cryptocurrencies. But I think Voyager will get market share. I think they'll continue to expand. Now, their, their expansion will probably decrease a little bit in terms of percentages. But I imagine them continuously continuously expanding here and gaining more revenue, more market share as time goes on. Now, the the analysts are saying that they're pretty bullish on this company. They're saying it's a moderate buy, $33 a share, which is 57% upside. Of course, weigh the risk reward. I wanted to bring this video to your attention though because Voyager is a really interesting one because they're one of the only ones that supports Doge. So they're getting a lot of users from this and there are still potential catalysts for Dogecoin. Like I heard someone saying, oh, Elon Musk might start investing or letting people use Dogecoin to buy their products. I could see him doing that, honestly. I, I That's so, so much further down the line though than Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin's so much more established. Uh, I could see that happening at some point, but uh, it's a low, it's a low chance, but if that happens, I think Doge will really continue to go up. I don't think anyone, if you ask them yesterday when Dogecoin was at 12 cents or 11 cents, would have said, yeah, it's going to go up to 40 cents tomorrow. Now, there's a lot of potential in these things because there is a lot of fun money out there. So it's kind of interesting. Again, Voyager is higher risk, I think, than something like Coinbase. I put in a lot of money in Coinbase this week. Coinbase, highly profitable. Voyager, not yet, but getting there. Uh, they, they're going to have a lot of revenue. They're going to have a lot of users. They're going to have a lot of attention because they're one of the only brokers out there that supports Dogecoin, which is the hottest name in the financial markets right now. That's what everyone wants to know about whether Dogecoin is going up, at least in my opinion, especially among some of the people that are looking at social media that are that are trying to start investing in these types of 
cryptocurrency. So definitely something to consider. Of course, this is not financial advice. This is more high risk than investing in something like Disney or Facebook, which I'm bullish on too, but it is something interesting. Now, am I going to put more money in Voyager? If it keeps falling down, probably. I think there's going to be some time here before it really before it really explodes because they haven't given us a monthly update uh, for this month yet. Um, I mean, they did for March, but this is going to be, I think, a very, uh, very high growth month for them. Now, uh, that's where risk reward comes in, though, too, because I I am very highly concentrated in cryptocurrency, about 30 to 35 percent of my portfolio is in crypto or crypto related stocks. But if it keeps on falling down, if there's more and more news in the crypto markets and I see them possibly having another really good month, I could see them going up really quickly. So definitely something to pay attention to. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out the link down below to Webull, you can get some free stocks. I think they said that they might support Dogecoin here soon or something like there's temporary trading or something weird like that. But definitely check that out. Deposit $100 and get some free stocks. Thank you guys for doing that. Check out BlockFi too if you're interested in an interest rate on your cryptocurrency. I work with them and I feel really comfortable putting large amounts of money there. Voyager, I, I'm i just starting to use the app, but I, I feel comfortable with them too. It's just a little bit different because they're so much smaller. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.